African Safari Wildlife Park is a wild experience with over 800 exotic animals. Our drive through safari features giraffes, zebras, deer, elk, alpacas, and even white bison, all of which you can feed right from your vehicle. Walk on the wild side with the zoo at all pass and feed kangaroos, porcupines, tortoises, and rabbits. Step into our aviary adventure and hand feed budgies for a memorable experience. Check out our live educational shows or ride a camel. Create memories that will last a lifetime at the Ohio Safari Park, African Safari Wildlife Park in Port Clinton. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Friday edition, the Friday the 13th edition of the morning show right here on Main Street TV. Of course, Jennifer here to start off your morning with our good friend and in front of the camera today intern, Miss Jenna Smalley. Welcome. Thank you. And it's kind of a bittersweet day for us because we're so proud of our sweet Jenna because she has uh, been here with us all summer and I think you've learned quite a bit for sure and yeah. whatever but she's leaving us today and we're really sad but we're so happy for you because you're getting ready to go off to college right in a week and move in on the 22nd oh man I can't believe it our baby girls all grows up I know <laughs> I can remember going to get to oh I can remember going to dinner with your mommy when you were in her belly Oh, were you at my first birthday party where my nickname originated from? My bug birthday party? I'm trying to remember. I, I'm sure I was. I'm sure you were too. Yeah. I feel like I've seen you in videos. I'd say I probably was there, yes. Yeah. So what's the nickname? Bug. Oh, Bug. Yeah. Okay. I missed that part. <laughs> Jenna Bug. Jenna Bug. Where did that come? How did I forget? I'm pretty sure it was just because of that birthday and I think I liked ladybugs a lot so Jenna bug it's just yeah. stuck yeah for 18 years there you go all right so you are headed off to go to college and we're so proud of you thank you yes and thank you for putting up with us all summer long of course it's been fun yeah so what what are some of the most memorable um events from the summer here at Total Media. Can you can you think of anything that's happened? We got to go to the fair. We that did get to fun. go to the fair, yeah. I feel like this time when we went to the fair, I didn't have to talk to anybody, so that was a lot easier. But whenever you pulled me out, I think two summers ago, yeah. to go to the fair, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing, and it was evident in the videos, so please don't go on Facebook and find that. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, really... it's, it's great. You have no. to. <laughs> I think at one point I was interviewing this girl and I asked her like the same question twice and I turned to you and I was like, I don't know what to say and we were still live. I was like, Jennifer, help me. <laughs> so I don't know anything about animals. Well, that's why you ask questions. Right. I don't even know what questions to ask. I'm like, what do you brush it with? <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, I grew up at the fair and... Um, you know, was there for many, 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 many years, both in 4-H and then covering the fair. And one year I asked Dylan Newsom, and if, if anybody knows Dylan Newsom and the Newsom family um, around this area, you know that they are famous uh, in our area for raising sheep. And I asked him what his goat's name was. So if that makes you feel any better, I thought he was going to punch me in the face. He was a, he's a very nice young man though. And he didn't. <laughs> He's like, um, it's a lamb, but okay. I'm like, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> I was just testing to make sure if you yeah, knew what you were showing or not. Just testing just to, make to make sure, sure you understood. <laughs> yeah, this is all about you, not me. <laughs> no, I think that's really, um, it's been, it's been so fun having you here this summer. And, um, so what have been some of the other cool things you've gotten to do? Well, um, Brittany taught me downstairs at, or, um, zip printing how to weed, which sounds weird. It's just like you want to yeah, ask questions yeah, first. I, I do. Um, so it's essentially this big sticker, right? And you have these little tools, and you sit at the table, and you peel off the top layer, so where you have like letters or numbers or anything like that that you can stick onto shirts or boards or posters later. It's it's a really so intricate thing and I've messed it up several times. So you're but. pulling off the in-between mm -hmm. stuff, right? Yeah. So, so like the hole in the middle of the zero or yeah. something. Yeah. So I learned how to do that. 
She learned to weed. I did. Don't I go to, to college weed. and say that you learned to weed in Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> you may get kicked out in like right. five minutes. Yeah. Like step back. <laughs> You're like, okay. <laughs> of course she did down in Appalachia. <laughs> What else did I learn how to do? I learned how to laminate small and big things. I used a laminator, which was fun. What else did I learn how to do? I mean, I learned how to produce Main Street TV. That's exactly right. You pushed all the buttons. And our good friend Courtney is back up here today with us. She is. After her hiatus. Her, <clears throat> yes, hiatus and um, shall we say uh, travel of the America. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it was to Iowa, not Idaho. No. We couldn't figure that out earlier. We need to tell on her, don't we? Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Courtney comes <laughs> up here, and she has been on a road trip with her lovely husband. And I said, how was your trip? And she said, oh, it was great, you know. Um, and I said, well, where did you go again? And she said, Idaho, lots of corn. <laughs> <laughs> And Jenna and I are both like, um, I was like, you mean potatoes? And she's like, no, there was lots of corn in Idaho. And I'm like, did you, she goes, oh, wait, or was I in Iowa? <laughs> she didn't ask us. She asked herself first. And then we went over to the map. And then we had to go to the map <laughs> to figure out what state she's in. And I mean, there, you know, you're talking about like, you know, here or like here yeah, like away. thousands of miles yes. of distance between the two. She's like, oh, no, it was the closer one. It's Iowa. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah, so yeah. So sorry Courtney, we had That's to tell right. on you. Yeah, I totally agree. You <laughs> should like, have well, told you on got, me. You got the first letter of the state, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the last. Yeah. The letters were no. similar. No, you didn't no. even get the I didn't even get the last one. Courtney, stop talking. <laughs> It's been a long week, and I've only been here three days. This is what yeah. happens when you drive across the country. You lose your I mind. So. I think I left half of it in a cornfield somewhere. In Idaho. In, in Idaho. Idaho. Yeah. Or Iowa, either way. One of the two. One of the I states. <laughs> Maybe I should be going to college. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, would you I take her with get, you? I don't know if I'd get accepted. Or perhaps back to the fourth grade, oh where gosh. we learn about states and things like that. I'll go with yeah. you. <laughs> She, Jenna's like, I don't, I don't even know where those states are. And I'm like, wait, you just got out of high school. You should know. We have an excuse. We've been out for too long. I learned it in fourth grade. I don't think even then I knew what they were talking about. Like, we had these assignments where you would have to write it down on this big blank, like, like the United States of America. And I... No idea. No idea. And there were people that were doing it in, like, five minutes. No well, it's idea. a good thing that states are shaped in certain ways, mm -hmm. because if they were just all, like, the same, that would be really weird. Right, and I feel like my artistically inclined brain can figure out, like, oh, that kind of looks like West Virginia. Yeah. Instead of just naming them. But that doesn't mean you know where West Virginia right. is. You just yeah. know what it looks like. Yeah, <laughs> good point. It could be, you know, beside California for mm -hmm. all you know. Maybe I should, not. Do, I should do, like, a USA puzzle and figure it out that way. We could do that. We, we would we suck go. at that. We really we don't would. know where the states are. <laughs> It would not be good at all. Well, Courtney, in your travels, did you see anything fun? So you went to a concert, right? Yes, we went to a music festival literally in the middle of the cornfield of Iowa. Yeah, three-day festival, so it's lots of fun. Did you like, just sleep in the middle of a cornfield, or what did you do? Um, no, we got a hotel room. Oh. There was camping at this music festival, but... I'm almost to the point I'm too old for music festivals, so I'm definitely too old for camping <laughs> at a music festival. Unless you're camping at the Hyatt. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> My campsite was about 20 miles away at a very nice mom-and-pop hotel. So Very good. So what? Uh, who all was at the music festival? Um, well, my favorite band, the Avett Brothers, of course. Uh -huh. um, Old Crow Medicine Show Camp, which was a local f up from Athens. They were an, Ath an Athens band. Oh, they, they were all the way in Ida Iowa. Were, Iowa. <laughs> See, it's easy to do. Um, Tyler Childers was there one night. Oh, cool. Yep, so. Wow, that sounds like a good one. Yeah, that's a pretty good lineup. <clears throat> so is it like Woodstock? Is everybody like, woo? Or was it like more like <laughs> chill? Or no, wait, were less some... chill? There were some woo people there. It was some very, twirlers. The, when there were bands on stage that I did not recognize, people watching was definitely 
on top of the list to do because there were some interesting characters. But I also realized that I could have just gone back in time and been at a music festival from when I was in college because girls in the sundresses and the Doc Martens and doing the bracelets with the um, embroidery string thread. Yes. Girls were doing that. The friendship like all bracelets. That stu- yeah, like... I was like, it's this all is back. just like when I was at a music festival in the 90s. Like, it's yeah. all you just, the same. You just described something that I would probably yeah. wear to a music right. festival. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, so it's like a little bit of a time travel. It all comes back again. It does. It does. I still yeah. have my Doc Martens from college. Really? I do. They're bad A. I bet. They're awesome. They were actually made in England. Really? You know, like. Doc Martens really? used to be made mm-hmm. in England. The OG. Yeah, <laughs> they were OG Doc Martens. And you know what? You can tell because I still have them. I don't necessarily wear them, but I do clean them up occasionally. It's time to break them out. I know. For sure. Mine aren't high tops, though. Oh, they're like the little... So they're low tops, yeah. Those are cool, so though. So they're like Oxford kind of uh-huh. shoes. I've seen those. I thought about getting them, but... I have the wuss, like, faux leather ones because... You have the vegan ones. I have the vegan ones. I'm going to just go with the fact that it's vegan. They're vegan. And it makes me sound more like, oh, I care about the animals. And I do. But or it, it also hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't want to have to worry about breaking them in. Yes. So. Yeah. They oh, are. So the vegan ones are softer? Yeah. Uh-huh. Good to know. It's like thought, soft leather. I thought you were going to go down the their cheaper path. I mean, they probably were, but... <laughs> I don't know. I've looked them up. I think the vegan ones are just about the same. Are they? Well, well good for you, our Thank little you. environmentalist. Absolutely. Headed to Bowling Green. Anything for the animals. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Summers wishes you the best of luck, Jenna. Thank you, Barbara. Aww. Isn't she the best? Love her. We she waved at us coming Barbara. at me and my mom coming out of West Banco the other day. It was so wholesome. I haven't seen her in a while. Yes. <laughs> Miss Barbara, we love you. Love wow. seeing her little smiling face. Yes. <laughs> She's like a ray of sunshine, mm-hmm. isn't she? Absolutely. Well, very good. So you are headed on to Bowling Green. And you're actually, so some of you may or may not know this. Um, so our good friends Chip and Kathy Smalley from the shop mm-hmm. who advertise here or, or are, have been one of our sponsors for many years um, are Jenna's grandparents. Yes, they are. And Chip and Kathy are awesome, awesome people. But you are taking a fun trip this weekend. So let's talk I about am. that for a minute. I mean, I just don't know many college kids that do this kind of thing. <laughs> I so, think it's so cool. It is. It's awesome. Right after my last day here at like 1.30 or 2, I'm loading up the car with my grandparents and we're going to take a little one day trip to Bowling Green before I move in next weekend. So I'm spending the next two weekends at Bowling Green. Um, I'm going to show them around to the best of my ability because I still don't really know my way around. <laughs> She's like, I think this <laughs> might be that building, yeah. but I'm not for sure. I'm like, this might be where I'm going to eat lunch, but it also might not be. So take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> but I'm really excited about it because they haven't seen my campus yet. So they That's wanted to so see cool. it before I left. How It'll many kids, like, you know, put their grandparents in the car and, and go for a, for a weekend with them somewhere? I think that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, good for you. you. And Chip and Kathy are super cool, so yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And also I get to brag about where I'm going to be living for the next four years, so. There you it'll go. Be, it'll be good for, good for that. <laughs> So as far as um, college goes, are there, you know, what are the things that one needs now to go to college? Oh, gosh. What are the things that, I feel like the things that I think I need are completely different from the things that my mom puts in our Amazon cart. (laughs) Like, I'll come home every, (laughs) I'll come home every single day and she's like, look at this stuff I found on Amazon and she'll find the most obscure things. And I'm like, but that's true. I do need that. You were right about that one. No, never. I feel like with I, when I have both of my parents together, it works especially well, too, because my dad is like, well, I had this in college, and I still use it because it's lasted, should I throw them under the bus and say how long? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 30 years or so? Something of the sort? Something like that, yeah. yes. Because he talked about how his mini fridge, it's still in our garage. Our yes. Garage, it's his mini fridge from college, and it still works. By the way, uh-huh. I meant to tell you, I left some um, frozen cocktail stuff in the freezer of the mini fridge, and I forgot to tell you guys that. I'm sure it's still. It's on. probably still there. It so might you might be. want to check the freezer. I of will the totally mini fridge. check. That. Okay. <laughs> 
he either found it and threw it away, found it, drank it, or hasn't found it yet. So, well, you can find it and do whatever you want to with it. How's that? Sounds good. Because right. <laughs> I'm, you know why? Because I'm cool cousin Jen that Absolutely. way. Absolutely. <laughs> But no, so the mini fridge is still kicking oh, yeah. after 30 I'm sure, years. I'm sure there are several other things too, but yeah. so have I told you about my mini fridge? No. So George was very adamant about helping me find my mini fridge. Yes. Because he just, he wanted to specialize in one thing. He's like, I will help you find the mini fridge. Of your dreams. And we will go shopping for the mini fridge. And I was like, okay. So I... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize there were that many I did, options I in mean, a mini fridge. I, I didn't either, but that's super cool. Yeah, I mean, you can, if you have a vision, you can find it. <laughs> so I, I really like vintage things. Okay. And I, I didn't notice until I really put everything like side by side in my dining room of packing stuff. I didn't think I like pink as much as I do. I mean, I say that and like everything I'm I wearing I was going to say, is pink. she's got like pink, um, <laughs> you know, Converse and pink yeah. everything today. Every, yeah. Everything I bought for college, like 98% of it is pink. <laughs> so nice. I was, I had this like idea in my brain that I wanted to get like a vintage mini fridge. Okay. So I wasn't really sure where to find that. And they weren't at like Walmart or anything like that. Cause that's what my dad envisioned he was like one afternoon we'll go to walmart or we'll go to like big lots or something and we'll look at all the mini fridges and i'll help you find a good mini fridge yes so we this spent a thing we spent i think maybe three days looking at <laughs> <laughs> like amazon and different places like that to try to find a mini fridge that i liked and george also approved of <laughs> <laughs> oh and, this is great <laughs> okay and i found a pink mini fridge. I, I should have, I wish I would have yeah. you know, used Do you my, have a picture of it? Maybe in my camera roll somewhere. If you want to look up pictures, <laughs> but it's a Frigidaire pink vintage mini fridge and it's phenomenal and I'm really excited about it. So I feel like I've searched it up a million times to show everyone. You know, so this cracks me up because, um, so I went to Capitol, and back then they hadn't redone Capitol the way that they have. We weren't allowed to have, I don't even think we were allowed to have fridges. Maybe we were, but we weren't allowed to have microwaves. We weren't allowed to really? have anything. So you had to, of course, sneak it in because. Oh, Isn't it amazing? It is so cute. Courtney, you might have to plug this in and show everyone if you can. Oh. Dude, <laughs> you have to show it. It's so good. Or you can just hold it up to the camera. Yeah, that's true. That's our old-fashioned sure. way. That is our, our low-budget, old-fashioned <laughs> way. That is adorable. Aww. Let's see if it'll show up on the camera. Oh, we can try. Uh oh, Courtney. Courtney's having trouble. She's Richard. still trying to figure out her way out of Idaho. Yes. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Go, Jenna. But I was that so excited so about cute. that. Thank you, Courtney. <laughs> Where did you get that? Um, Amazon. Amazon, yeah. of course you did. Amazon is, where we is, get things. has been a big help of getting stuff this summer. I can imagine. Also, um, mattress pads, but also mattress toppers. Okay. So it's like you have the, what is it called? Like memory foam thing that you can put on top of the, the cots that they give you. Because they're, the mattresses suck. Uh -huh. Yeah. I've gone to many camps at like Rio or OU and I don't have mattress toppers and it's the worst three days of my life. I mean, you may as well <coughs> sleep on this the floor. desk right here. Yeah. Yeah. I think that might be more comfortable. Yeah. But yeah, I have my mattress pad and then I have my mattress topper. So it's like another mattress on top of two other mattresses. So I really, <laughs> I was thinking about it today. I was like, I really hope I can get my sheets yeah. over top of it, but I think it'll be okay. I hope you have the, they make like sheets that are like, mm -hmm. Bigger. Although Bowling Green, they're they're smart. With oh, what they you do. were telling me about this. They this is a racket. It I'm just is. gonna call yeah. call it what it is. It, I mean, they're they're trying to make money and they have a plan. But they have extra large twin beds, and they have a store where you can buy sheets and bedding for their extra large twin bed that only fits their bed. So they because have like proprietary normal beds. twin sheets don't fit. So, but there are other places that sell extra large twin sheets. So yeah. I beat the system, hopefully. 
knock on particle board. <laughs> Girl, you got it. <clears throat> well, you can't be the first person that's thought to, to, you know, have a pink mini fridge. And well, you might be. I don't know. Maybe. That is pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. I so, said it, I haven't. I didn't tell Madeline about it until my roommate until I sent her a picture, and I think she likes it. She didn't. I mean, I can't imagine that she wouldn't. Yeah. So I feel like we're similar in that regard. I feel like Madeline will care more about what's in the mini fridge. Right. As long as there's like <laughs> Red she's Bull still in Madeline. It. Yeah. And I also remember. her only her only <laughs> request was that it's magnetic, and it is. So good to go. We can put magnets on there. Aha! Uh -huh. Cover up the pink mini mm -hmm. fridge. So um, let me ask you this. So then does, does everybody have their own stuff, like your own microwave or your own mini fridge, or do you like share things? Well, you have to bring all that stuff. Um, so if you bring it, it's yours. There's also my lobby and my dorm is really, really nice. There's no air conditioning in the, like in the rooms, yeah. but downstairs in the lobby, there's a lot of air conditioning. So I feel like I'll be spending a lot of my time down there. Yeah. But there's like a, um, I don't want to say it's not universal communal. It's like a communal kitchen. Yes. So they have like a giant fridge and a microwave and an oven and places yeah. where you can like make stuff, stuff on a sk like a skillet. It's really cute. But so if you want to share, there's a place to share it. Just but for the love of God, don't burn down the dorm. Please. I won't. I just I just won't cook anything. I don't want to get that call. Right. Jenna's yeah, I would call. Home. I would call her first. Be like, I don't want to have this. I'm going to rehearse this conversation <laughs> with you first. What do I say to my parents? Because you I know, really Jordan need Drew. help. I was like, you know them. What do they want to hear? They want to know they now own a dorm building <laughs> they on are Bowling Green. Hey, to rebuild a dorm building at Bowling Green. Good news, Green. though, we can put our last name on the side. So, <laughs> true that. True that. So, what um, what made you choose Bowling Green? I mean, I think the biggest thing was just, like, there was a reciprocity in the being wanted. Because, I mean, when you want to go to a school, you obviously really want to go to school there, and you, like, want to get in contact with people, and you want to meet people and do all the right things, but a lot of schools haven't mastered the ability to give that back, where... Like, for, you need them more than they need you mm -hmm. kind of thing. For months, I got, before I had even committed, I got emails from, like, I don't know, people from, like, my major, like, a certain building, just, like, telling them, telling me how excited they are for me to get there. Or, like, we really hope Smart. that you stick with this major. And they sent me, like, gift baskets and stuff like that. And I'm like, wow. They really want me to go. Like to they care there. if I'm yeah. if I'm there or not. And it's they not it's not just like a front they put up either. You. They courted you. They did. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even it's not even a front they put up either. Like even now that I'm committed. I mean maybe I'll come back in a couple <laughs> years and I'll tell you if it's changed if I'm like a sophomore in college. And they're like, like, we got you already. Yeah, we got you. You're paying your money. We don't moving care. Moving on to these new girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're moving on to the the fresh meat. <laughs> <laughs> but like it, it hasn't wavered like they're still doing it yeah so it's really nice it's just it feels like a home like I feel comforted that's good mm -hmm. that's that's how it should be yeah it was in between that or um Indiana University mm -hmm. and I really liked it it was a super pretty campus it was like in the Big Ten but it just it was too scary like it was already a big school and I didn't know anybody there actually I I did know somebody do you know my mom's friend Kelly would have been Schwimmer then or something like that. Sounds familiar. She went to Key West with her. Anyway, her daughter goes there. Oh, okay. So we were able to connect with them. Yeah. But like, it was it was just scary, and I felt like I was just a number. Like, I, I know that. Sure. I don't want to, like, bash Indiana University. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. I just felt less of a less, person. Less at home. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of, like, why I chose Capital, because I felt, because mm -hmm. I went on several um, visits to different colleges that day. And it was like my last visit, and I actually felt like they cared that I was there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Some of the other ones, I felt like everyone was being super fake. Yeah. I hate that. I'd rather you be mean to me than show me, like, right. fake excitement. Like, I can see right through you in yes. your polo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every single time in your polo. Tell me I'm wrong though. They're no, you're right. Just you're right. In their polo and their khaki pants that are pulled <laughs> way too like high up over top. 
and the guys are and the pants are way too tight. <laughs> you could have sized. You could have sized down. Like just, just, just saying. <laughs> <clears throat> Anywho. Well, I think Courtney and and um and and the folks worked on something for you because you are going to college. Am I right? Yep, it's in that box. Okay, so it's a survival kit. Okay. That they came up with for you, and so we can go through and <laughs> all of the things that you're going to need to survive your freshman year in college okay. are in here. I can't wait. Yeah. Oh, it's so, so cute. So yeah. So. Here we go, and there are all kind of little notes in there. Thank you. And you can go through them all and read some of them. Okay. And, and um, so, very good, Courtney. You did a good job. <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. She put little, little notes about what it's for. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so it's a little take risk dice where, hmm, you roll it to figure hmm. out what you're going to do with your day. It says go out, wing it, stay in, just add water, <laughs> study. That's so cute. I love that. I feel like I'm going to make Madeline use this more than me. Okay. And but. the best thing about it is it's dry erase, so you can put your own <gasps> stuff on it. That's so cute. Yeah, you can just. <clears throat> oh, so fun. I love that. Yeah. Love this. Lifesavers. Just in case you need a lifesaver. They may save your life someday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are f highlighters, man. <clears throat> you gotta read what it says. Always look on the bright side. <laughs> I saw this first. Celebrate all the big wins, big and small. <laughs> Yay! We expect you to carry that around oh, all yeah. the time. They gave me a little cowbell that says BG on the side, so I'll have that in one hand oh. and this in the other, and just girl. If I don't see you at a game winging that stuff around, oh, I'm gonna yeah. be very disappointed. I'll take pictures and send them all. Yes. Oh gosh. Be flexible with your hair up in parentheses. <laughs> hair elastics. Phenomenal. Trust me. Oh my gosh. One. One says love. One says on love. It. it has little beads on it. Ugh. Too good. I'll wear that as a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I'm just going to tell you, you'll probably use those a lot because you won't want to, you know, oh, fix yeah. your hair. So. Absolutely. Just, just saying. I almost, I had a scrunchie on my wrist earlier because I was, like, after the show, I was going to put my hair up, but I forgot it at home. Well, now you have some. Well, now I have some. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> silly putty. It says, remember to be silly. Don't take every day too serious. <laughs> so true. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> When you're ready for a break. Take <laughs> a break with a Kit Kat. <laughs> break a little piece of that Kit Kat bar. There you go. I didn't realize you were singing at first, and I was like, okay, you want one? Like, I was, I was ready to give well, you one. Well, I mean, no, you save that for yourself, honey. <laughs> Erasers. We all make mistakes, and it's okay. Thank you for that. I needed to hear that. <laughs> Smart girls are cool. <laughs> so true. So true, Courtney. Yay. Oh, popcorn. Always have a pop in good time. And we have a microwave. We can use the... Oh, whoop, nice. whoop. This is the first thing going in the bag. Just Madeline don't will be burn very it, excited about that. <laughs> the whole floor will be upset. Yes, they, people <laughs> will hate you if you burn your popcorn. <laughs> Remember, if there's more than two seconds in between popping, right. get it out the microwave. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's Jen advice. Remember, we are always cheering you on. I feel like there's two. Yay! They didn't have bowling green colors. That's okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's kind of Wait, what are the colors? Green and something, right? No, it's no? orange and brown. Oh, orange and brown? You would think, like, in Bowling your mind, green you're like, oh, that's, green. that's ugly, yeah. but it's actually, it works. Okay. Yeah. I bought a brown sweatshirt uh -huh. earlier, and I didn't think I was going to like it, but kind of good. It works. Kind of <laughs> good. Remember to stick with it. Bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to move this over. I'm going to start spilling stuff off the table. <laughs> Good point. For the good times, it says dot, 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 and the bad. It's Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably need those. Yeah, I cry a lot. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and there'll be a lot of laughs, too. Right. I mean, yeah. with, with 
who I'm rooming with. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Madeline, Some, Sometimes yes. I can't. I don't want to like stick to the other, but no, oh, it's one thing. Got it, got it, got it. It's got all it. one thing. I think so. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So we have some envelopes. It says, texting is cool, but sending old school mail to mom and pops is too. <laughs> That's very true. They, I feel like my grandparents would really appreciate that. Oh, too. you have oh, no idea. So much. Number one, your grandmother, um, the best handwriting Kathy, in the world. has the most beautiful penmanship of anyone I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. It is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, like 18 years later, and every single time she writes me a letter, I think I have to like stare at it before I read it. Yeah. She still has, she has mastered the the art of letter writing to a T. Absolutely. Well, it's also so nice. Like you can't go back and look at texts like mm -hmm. you can letters. And I literally came yep. across a notebook that had been in my dad's garage forever where me and my roommates, like we didn't have texting obviously yeah. back in the day. So we had a notebook and we would write each other notes like went to so-and-so's house or um, let's get dinner tonight or Courtney, clean up your room. I realized I wasn't a great roommate after reading this notebook because there was a lot of stuff. Courtney, do your dishes. There was a lot of that stuff. But it was kind of neat to just go back and read that notebook. Yeah. And, yeah, remember. Because you don't, cute. yeah, I, I would think so too. And I have, um, like my f freshman year, of course, again, we didn't really have texting or anything like that. But one of my best friend's moms always sent me a card once a week. That's and it was cute. just so fun because, you know, you're in college, you have, you like, this mail. mailbox, and you go mm -hmm. check it, and there's never anything in it. But I always knew there was going to be that. That's cute. Yeah. yeah. I love that. <laughs> yep. So there you go. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. This is the this is the best. For a fresh start, if needed, it's air freshener. <laughs> you're which, definitely going to need that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Because we're not allowed to have, like, candles or anything like that. I don't even think we can have those, like, Bath & Body Works plug-ins. Oh, you can't? Wall. I don't think so. Maybe. But well, there you go. That's a good one. I always, I always have candles burning, so that'll be an issue. Yep. So glad I have this. So thank you. <laughs> yes. Very fun. Speaking of candles, <laughs> it says to remind you to shine bright. I can't use it, but I will use it in the week that I'm still here. There you go. <laughs> it smells really good. It does. Mm -hmm. What's it say? Thumbs up. It's a thumbs up candle. Love that. So <laughs> encouraging. <laughs> Dry erase markers for. Correct. The cube. The cube. <laughs> I could see that cube being used for um, a whole lot of chicanery. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you think? You think so? <laughs> This is fun. Brain break is what it says. Big old letters right there. It's a coloring oh book. Gosh. It's Wonder Woman crayons. Who doesn't love that? I can't think of anybody who wouldn't. Well, there you go. Uh, now so you good. have all the things that you need to survive your freshman year at college. Amazing. Thank you, Courtney. I mean, I was going to get you a pink um, <laughs> Frigidaire. We <laughs> were, but I found out George already got it. We right heard that you years. already we had through, one. So. the grapevine. <clears throat> yeah. If that happened, I think George would show up. And just <laughs> he would kill us. <laughs> he would. <laughs> and I have a storage container now. There right? you go. So. Okay, so, so do you things. have the the uh, obligatory um, disgusting shower caddy to take to the shower? Yeah, that was one of the things that my mom thought to buy on Amazon, which is also... And flip-flops yes. for the shower? Both also pink. Cool. Mm -hmm. Proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. It's probably not a bad idea to have all the pink stuff, though, because I imagine most people have a lot of orange stuff. Yeah, that's true. So that's yours will maybe yeah. stick out. That's a good point. Yep. We all we all know that Jenna loves to stick out. <laughs> well, you'll know it's your shower caddy. <laughs> you don't want to take someone's shower caddy. Oh, there's Jenna in the shower again. There's that pink shower caddy. <laughs> they don't even call me Jenna. They're like, oh, there's there's the pink one. Pink girl. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's funny too, like when you go to college, like, and you meet people, and like I I was always Jennifer. Jennifer. Growing up, never Jenny, never anything else. The way you said it, Jennifer. Jennifer, <laughs> because that's basically what my parents were like. Right. We don't want her name shortened. And yeah. I'm like, 
Okay, so I just grew up that way. So if you talk to like my high school and like teachers or, or like whatever, they would call me Jennifer. But like if you meet like my college friends or anybody after, I'm either Jen or Davis really? in college. Because I was Davis in college because as you can imagine, you know, there were 3,000 Jennifers. And, Good point. And, yeah. Yeah. So yes. in our sorority and everything, there were a bunch. So we went by our last names. So, Judy Hamilton also wishes you good luck, Jenna. Aww. And then we had Sarah James Webster says she loves her hometown. She's listening as she's getting ready and realized that this is George Smalley's daughter. That's right. And Sarah James yeah. went to school with George. Said she attended school with George from first she grade did. all the way through Kennison Elementary and through their senior year. And good luck. Aw, that's, that's so fun. Yeah, one of your dads. Uh, I love that. If he's not watching, I'll, I'll tell him about that yeah, later. Yeah, tell him Sarah James said hi. Absolutely. She'll, he'll Absolutely. know who that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he has a whole part of his brain dedicated to remembering people's names. It's, it's the Smalley in him. <laughs> that's so good. Well, do you want me to put this back over here? Sure. Well, we're happy now that you have all of the things that you need to survive and a pink refrigerator. Yes, of course. So there you go. And thank you, Courtney, for putting all yes, that together. Yes, thank you, Courtney. You're welcome. Very cute. <laughs> so what are some of the things, like, when you are going to college that your mom's like, oh, you're going to need this, and you're like, uh, I would have never thought of that. Like the shower caddy, was that one of them? I mean, I feel like some of it is kind of like, well, duh, you need that. But also, I feel like I've kind of been putting a lot of information in my brain at once, so things get forgotten. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to think. Like, did they send you a list of things? Like, like yes. a... Yeah, but some of the, I feel like they're all pretty standard. Yeah. Because um, when you think of things that you want to buy, you're like, oh, I'm going to buy all my pillows and all of my decorations. And you want the cute stuff. And, yeah. Yes. Like, all that's this, all the stuff you go to right away. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Which took, the fun stuff. Which took an embarrassingly long amount of time to figure <laughs> out. So I actually, I didn't, like, fully figure out all my bedding and the stuff that I wanted to bring until like maybe two weeks ago. Cause I was back and forth. I think we sent back about two or three <laughs> comforters. Wow, well, you're, like, you're like, what vibe am I bringing yeah. to Bowling Green? Like who, so is it pink what girl am I gonna be? <laughs> she <laughs> is pink. <laughs> she said that so apologetically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's also pink. It's 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 velvet pink. Oh wow! I love it. That should be nice and cool in your oh, yeah, air conditioned sure. room. <laughs> so now, are you and Madeline matching everything, or is it like this is my side She's of the room? She's gonna be and pink, and Madeline's all black. Actually, <laughs> so I. Madeline figured her, she's a lot, me and Courtney were talking about this, I feel like Madeline's a lot less high maintenance than I am. <laughs> I don't claim to be high maintenance, but. Well, she grew up with brothers, good so, point. you know, yeah. you just gotta just. Yeah, good point. So she, she was like, yeah, my dad bought me, like, gray sheets, and I have a pink comforter, and, like. That's and it. And that, that was the last I heard of it. I think <laughs> I, I have to ask her what she has, and she bought, like, a bunch of tapestries and stuff like that, so. She was very quick to turn her stuff out. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do pink. And that was where that started. So I was against pink in the beginning. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to do, I was trying to make choices that weren't pink and nothing looked right. <laughs> so. Here come the pink. Here comes the pink. I finally found a comforter that I liked. And I was like, it's pink, but it's cute. And then the second it got there, I was like, it's like I opened a box of demons. So then after that, it was like, that's cute. And that's also pink, put it in the cart. And here we are, so. With all the pink, mm -hmm. all the pink in the world. Yeah. Well, very good. Well, we wish you the best of luck and, and uh, we know you're going to do great. So tell everybody, um, what you are going to do with your major. Well, my major is media production and I'm minoring in film production. And truthfully, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with that, <laughs> but it sounded like the right decision. So, well, and it's okay to change your mind too mm -hmm. if you get there and you're like, right. I don't know about this. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I put my, I can't tell if it's a good place to be or a bad place to be, but I've taken all like major classes this semester, 
So I'll be okay. able to figure out if I like it very quickly, but I'll also be able to figure out if I hate it very quickly. Exactly. So <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully I like it. Cause I don't know if I want to have to go through the stress of changing my major and <laughs> picking all new classes. Well, that's okay. And I mean, again, if, if you do, it's not the end of the world. Right. And um, so you'll be just fine. So um, we have given Jenna some advice off the air and it will remain off the air <laughs> as far as um, real life stuff mm -hmm. when it comes to college, but we hope that you have listened. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And that you hear that little uh, Courtney, Karina, James, Jen voice in the back of your head when you are making decisions <laughs> about what to do or not to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So Mama Smiley, Smalley has said that you may, have may, may or may have not listened, but she keeps saying you need a planner a first aid kit and a toolkit. Right, the toolkit is coming from George. 100% okay. coming pink? from George. That is very handy. <laughs> is it pink? <laughs> no, I don't have one yet. <laughs> but it could better be pink. I was gonna say, I feel like now it really needs to be pink. <laughs> but I have a planner, but I feel like my mom, she doesn't like it because it's like a manual you have to write in like what the dates are and I what know. month it is. It is not pink. And it's not pink. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I think she wants me to get a smaller one that I can lug around easier. Yeah. Okay. But so what I found with planners and oh, God. the the thought of how I used to be, I wish I could get back to that spot. But I was so flippin' organized. No. But I found the. Um, they actually sold like capital planners at the bookstore okay. and it was everything that I possibly needed mm -hmm. like to plan out my like work and all of that. It, so maybe check with the bookstore too yeah, and see, point. is if, there still a college bookstore? Oh yeah. Okay. Make sure, see if they have any pink, blue yeah. and green yeah. planners. But yeah, it was, so I would get like a new one every year of the mm -hmm. same one because obviously you'd fill it in. and. Um, yeah, it, w it was great. Right. I loved it. And people would pick up my planner and they would be like, you are insane. I feel I like I had everything of my life planned out. And now I'm zero like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the opposite. I feel like it takes a lot. Well, I mean, I'm I'm kind of organized. I feel like if my mom is watching right now, she's going to be in she the comments. She is watching. She's she said your planner is huge. Yeah. <laughs> if, it's huge. <laughs> if I if I say that I'm organized, she's going to be in the comments like, "Oh my gosh." Like that's definitely not No, you're not. It's not very true. <laughs> but I feel like when it comes to school, I've figured it out. Because for a while, my parents always say that, like, in elementary school and middle school, I had absolutely no idea how to be a student. Yeah. Which was true. But once high school rolled around, I figured it out. Yeah. So. Well, it is hard, too, when... Um, it depends on when that transition is that you actually need to learn to study. Right. Because I feel like, basically, through grade school, I didn't really have to study for mm -hmm. anything. So then you get to, like, junior high, and you're like... It's like culture shock. You you have to memorize the states and write them in the, you know, whatever. And you're like, oh, my gosh, I've got to do all this stuff. So mm -hmm. then by the time high school rolls around, you know, hopefully you've had um, some classes where you've been prepared to do that. And right. um, by the time you get to college, then you should be good to go. But it's yeah. still definitely a, a, an experience. Absolutely. I mean, I was the kind of person in elementary school where I would come home and my parents would be like, do you have homework? I'd be like, no. The next day, do you have homework? No. I did and then, it already. And then Friday rolled around and, <laughs> or no, Thursday night. It was like 8.30 on a Thursday. I was like, hey, Dad, can you help me with this giant math packet that I knew about last week that's due tomorrow? <laughs> and there was a lot of anger, a lot of tears. I still have memories of just, like, sitting at the kitchen counter and my dad telling me, like, he's like, what's five plus seven? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> And God help me when I got to the double digits. Because <laughs> I suck at math. Like, and it, like now especially, <laughs> I suck at it. And I sucked at it so bad in elementary school because I just I couldn't understand it. 
Understood. I mean, it just so. depends on how you're wired as to mm -hmm. what. <laughs> yeah. Those multiplication tables are rough. Do you know, it's so <laughs> funny now, I go to multiply things in my head and I, I forget. Like, oh, yeah, I do too. Nine times six is, is yeah, 54. And then I have to, like, seriously think about mm -hmm. it for a minute because you, if you don't use it, you lose it. See, I'm really good. Or I say that, but I don't know if I'm really good at multiplication tables. I was really good when we were learning them. Yes. Because they taught us in songs. And that I, would be fantastic. And I, like, even now, if I'm sitting there, like, trying to multiply something, I'll just, like, sing the song in my head. You totally should do that in math class in college. But don't <laughs> sing it in your head. Sing it out loud. Sing it out loud, and everyone's going to be like, oh, pink girl's singing again. <laughs> I'll make so many friends. <laughs> I carry around. I'm just, I come Remember to, I come smart to, girls are cool, Jenna. <laughs> I come right. to class every day dressed like Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> and I also sing. And she sings in class. You're like a walking, talking Disney movie. <laughs> oh, God, here comes Snow White again. Super. The no, birds are following her. And I, and I played Snow White in the fall play last year. So. There you go. It's full circle. It is. Full circle. <laughs> I just noticed we match. You do. Look at that. Mama says she's a bragging mom, and you're good at math, but crazy great at writing. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Mom. Thanks, Mom. So you should be writing tons of letters. Right. <laughs> right. See, I'm worried that for high school I was good at writing, and then I'm going to get to college, and I'm going to get my first essay back, and it's just going to be like red pen. No. Just remember. No, it won't be. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but if it is, that's all right, too. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Okay, so this is one. Some professors are harsh. Some professors are harsh. Don't try to BS your way through it. Mm -hmm. Listen to everything that they say and fill in all the blanks of what they're requiring, if that makes right. any sense. So, like, I think so. for example, I had this one professor, and he was really cool but really tough. And I'd go to take a test. I'd be like, I aced that. And then I would you know, get like a C on it. And he would sit down with me and be like, you're not reading all the question. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh. So, you know, it's like, it would be like, name the four types of this. And I would name one because I just thought that that was what it was asking. Right. And like down in the question, there would be, and name the four types of it. Mm -hmm. So I would just read like the, read it real fast and just like, and so, right. you know, just things like that that you learn that different professors um, require, and some are tougher than others. Mm -hmm. So just listen to what, right. learn to what they want. I've gotten some of my textbooks already. Have you? Mm -hmm. Wait, you actually have textbooks? Yeah. Oh. Some of them are online, but you have the option to get, like, the physical copies. Those are good because mm -hmm. you can mark them up. Yeah. yeah. I, I like having physical stuff in front of me because yeah. I, like, I like to write on things. Yeah, me too. But I have a required reading for my pop culture class and nice. it's pop culture yeah and it's literally a comic book free britney <laughs> and it my first required reading in there is a comic book really yeah it's really cool nice that sounds like fun yeah. what is the comic book do you know not really it's it said it's a bestseller Okay. But I just, like, flip through it really fast. So you need to find some of your comic book nerdy friends. Right, And, and learn right. all about it before you go to college. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. But. Hey, by the way, as a sidebar, I think that Brittany's dad has um, agreed to step down really? as her, yeah. I so good. That. Conservator or whatever. So good. Yeah. We did it. <laughs> we freed Brittany, hopefully, <laughs> yes, right here. We still don't have any Crocs, by God, but we freed Brittany. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That's a whole other story. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, lots of advice, lots of, uh, you know, if you need any of us, that we'll be here for you. Right. Although James has already said that, he said, don't call. Please don't call. <laughs> he said, call Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are certain things you can call James for. Right. He but not probably, the same things that you would call us for. He could probably help you out with that comic book. Right. Good point. Correct. Good point. <laughs> Good point. Or some technical stuff along the way. Right. If I have a project and I have no idea how to do it. Yes. 1-800-JAMES. Yes. 
you you have a James, but you have a James. You have a you James. You burn the dorm down. That's Jennifer. Yeah, that's right. Don't call James. No. no, no. <laughs> Something real crazy. If there's the law involved, you call call us first. <laughs> you call <them. laughs> I laugh about that, but that's happened so many times. <laughs> from other folks so you wouldn't be the first that called me that was in trouble with the law Good trust me <laughs> well I feel from like, college I feel like I'll be calling on behalf of my roommate <laughs> 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 Madeline's gonna be like I am not calling my parents and I'll be like I got you I'm calling Jen yeah it's no problem I'll put her on speakerphone I'll be like just explain it I'm not doing it yeah <laughs> no worries we got you girl we got you covered thank you so so the fun part is, um, so you'll go to college and at first you're like, oh, I'd kind of like to go home because I miss home and I want to visit. And then like about Christmas rolls around and then you're like, sayonara parents, I'll see you in a year. <laughs> or at least that's what I did anyway. Right. Yeah. I have i don't know if I'll, I mean, I could come home. You're a, It's a far way though. Yeah, it's like three and a half hours. Yeah. So, I mean, I can still drive home if I want to, sure. but it's not very convenient. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to try to make it to Thanksgiving. I think I totally can. But oh, yeah. But I feel like if anything, they're just going to need to schedule a lot of FaceTime calls with my cat. I know. <laughs> so we, we do have a little crisis in the Smalley household, and that is called the cat. Because the cat and Jenna are one. And your mother is terrified of what the cat's going to do when yeah. you leave. Not to mention herself, but... Right, right. Yes. Everybody's just gonna, is just going to be in crisis. Yes. <laughs> Barely. But I have a cat named Remy. Love her a lot. She sleeps with me every night. She follows me everywhere. And I have not sat her down and had the conversation <laughs> with her yet <laughs> that I'm leaving in a week. And she doesn't, she won't be able to understand why I'm leaving. So she's just going to be mad at me when I get back. Because she's always mad when we leave for like little weekend trips. Like she she always shuns us for at least a day. Yeah. Because she's a cat. And yeah. That's what cats do. Maybe so just, they should just get like a cardboard cut out of you and just move you around the house. Ooh, right. Oh, I like that. Like right. spray some of your, you know, whatever you wear or put a that pink sweater on you. <laughs> just move you around the house. Just sit around some pink stuff. She'll right. be fine. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> but yeah, I I really don't know what I'm going to do. Because I feel like when people talk about the reasons that they come home, they're like, I'm either homesick or I miss my animal. All of the above. Yeah. Go ahead and say all of the above because we don't want to hurt your parents' feelings. They, they know I'll miss them. They know. Maybe you can find like a, a cat shelter or something to volunteer at. That's a good point. But then I'll I'll be stupid and I'll adopt one. Yeah. <laughs> She'll be like, How am I gonna sneak this cat into my dorm? <laughs> then Remy will really good be point. mad. Yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> my friend Trace had a turtle across the hall. A turtle? A turtle in her dorm room. That was a hoot. Right. Yeah. I'll just convince my older friends that have a house on campus to buy a cat. There you so go. I can just get try my cat. to convince Bowling Green that she, she's your emotional support cat. She is your emotional support cat. <laughs> I and did. She needs to I be with you. I truthfully did think about doing that. I really did, but she's seven years old, yeah, and she's yeah. lived in our house the entire time. Yeah, that'd be great. And it would, it would be she would be mad at me. Yeah, that would freak her out a little she, bit. She she just doesn't she doesn't really like well she doesn't like kids. So that wouldn't really be a big issue because I don't think there are any kids at college, but probably not so much. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people that act kids. like kids. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. I can't tell if it's the, the physical like kid or if it's the kid. Yeah, so there's a lot of that. Denise Brown also wishes you much luck. Thank you. Yay, <laughs> thank you, Miss Denise. Very good. So what are your concerns? Oh, um that I'm going to hate it, which I don't think I will, but there's always... That was my big concern, yeah. that I was going to get there and be that like, I, hate it. I, I can't. Um, that I'm not smart enough to go to college. <laughs> that I'm going to hate my major. It's a lot of, like, me being paranoid. <laughs> I totally so. understand. I can remember, like, literally sobbing, like, I just don't know if I can do this mm -hmm. or not, and... I remember my stepdad, Davey, sat me down and he was like, just because you're from Jackson, Ohio, doesn't mean that you're not 
as smart or smarter than many of the kids that are coming from the big cities and right. whatever. And, you know, you can do this. Mm -hmm. Like, you deserve to be there. And, right. you know, you've earned your way there. And mm -hmm. I was like, and, and if you absolutely hate it, come home. And it just, like, made me feel so much better. Because mm -hmm. I was like, oh. I'm not, like, stuck. It's not yeah. like you've, you know, signed a death wish or something. Right. So, yeah. But you are very smart, and you are, they're going to love you there, and you are going to do great. Thank you. And if you, you need to do anything you set your mind to. That's right. And it's okay if you don't like your major starting out. You can change it. Yep. Yeah, and like you said, you know, getting into some of those classes early, I mean, that's pretty smart because you're going to learn quickly whether, I, <clears throat> I know Capital has a really good nursing school. Mm hmm and many, 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 many of the girls on my freshman floor started out in nursing school. And many, 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 <laughs> many, many of them ended up as something else. Right. Yeah, a lot of us like still don't know what we want to be. That's 100% true as well. <laughs> that's a good point. I feel like both my parents have said that to me. They're like, we, we still have no idea. So right. it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know... For now, it is a free country, and you can change your mind. Right. You can do whatever you want to do. Right. So, But I understand having concerns, and I understand um, how you feel. I don't know why. I, I remember that feeling like it was yesterday. I don't know. Did you get nervous going to college? No. no. I was terrified. Absolutely terrified. I'm a little terrified. <laughs> like, I remember my mom, like, dropped me off, like, with all my stuff, and, like, when she pulled out, I was like... Oh my God! I don't know what I'm gonna do. And there were people from Jackson there in my room, and I yeah. was still freaked out. Yeah. So yeah, I get well, like, it. Like I was a little bit different because I, my senior year, my mom had to move to Jackson because I grew up in West Virginia. Yes. So my mom had to move to Jackson to help take care of my grandma, and so I lived with my dad my senior year. It had its perks and its downsides, but. <laughs> So when I graduated, they literally, I went on my senior trip and they literally moved me to my apartment. So when I came back from my senior trip, I just went to my apartment. So I guess I'm maybe missed out on that whole emotional roller coaster a little bit. Because, you didn't get the chance to be nervous. Yeah. Cause they, yeah. you know, there was, they had, we rented a house in West Virginia, had to be out like, so all the timing, I just showed up at my room in my apartment. That makes unpacked, sense. So, Yeah. You were just kind of forced to yeah. do that. There you go. Maybe we should do that with Jenna and we'll just kick her out of the house get now. Get her out. Get her, get her used to it. Send when her I, away for the weekend. Right. <laughs> She'll show up in your uh, pink velvet bench. I've got, be my, I've got my velvet <laughs> comforter. It's pink. My grandparents will just, like, drop me off. <laughs> be like, bye. It's a week early. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they forgot to tell you, you're not coming home this weekend. Good my luck. mom will just send all my clothes up. Yeah, UPS Which, will be there on Monday. Yeah. I still haven't packed my clothes, by the way. Yeah. Oh, that's a whole other thing. Um, at least our dorm was this way. If you didn't want to lose something, don't take it. Because our dorm, or our hallway, became like a ginormous walk-in closet mm -hmm. so you just yeah. went to someone's room and i don't know why this was okay but it's just how it became you just went to someone's room and you shopped in their closet if you huh. needed something or whatever and i can't tell you how many things that i never got back along the way i feel like so yeah i'm gonna try my best to keep it contained to just me and madeline because yeah. we share clothes already that would be fantastic so I feel like we're just because we it always ends up ask. back in the same place. We always ask each other. Okay. We never good. take without asking. Maybe set so. that precedent early mm -hmm. because I know, which, I mean, honestly, I didn't care, but it, yes, it became this big, mm -hmm. like you just borrow everybody borrowed everything from everybody, mm -hmm. especially not necessarily uh, my freshman year, but more like my upper class, right, couple years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's another. I just thought of that. Oh. So one last message. Yes. So proud of you. Bowling Green is lucky to have you going to their campus. Love, Granny and Granddad Melly. Yay! <laughs> 
I was getting ready to leave this morning and I saw my mom's phone open on the table and it was a text to my granny that said, Jenna's gonna be on the morning show with Jen, you should watch. And she was like, thanks for letting me know. Aww. <laughs> so. Hi, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> yes, their names are Mary and Joseph, mm -hmm. just to let you know. <laughs> my aunt and uncle. Yep, very good. All right, well, cool. Well, all right, it is our Jenna's last day, and we're so sad that you're leaving, but we're so proud of you, and we're so happy that we got to spend the summer with you. Absolutely, it's been really fun. Yeah, Thanks and you me. need to come back when you come yeah. back from, um, you know, I, wanna, I want you to come back on the show when you um, come home and after you slept for a couple days and caught up on your sleep. Um, I do want you to come back and tell us how, you know, your college experience is Absolutely. going. Yeah. We'll do like a little, a little Christmas episode together. There something. you go. Love that. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. So, all right. Well, um, oh, weather. We didn't do that. Oh, yeah. We it failed is to ready, do the weather. Though. It is ready, though. The weather <laughs> is ready. Jenna got it ready, and Courtney's going to push that button. And um, so today they are calling for still those hot temperatures and some rain in the forecast today, um, although it didn't look like it when I was driving in this morning. So hot. It's though. so hot and sticky. But the good news is if we can get past today, it looks like we're getting back into those low to mid eighties um, for our Saturday, Sunday, and then the all through next week. So that's kind of our weather forecast, that pesky chance, kind of 50, 50 chance of rain every day. That humidity is going to be high, but hopefully if we can just make it through today, those temperatures will get back down into something a little more manageable. And please take care of, you know, your friends, your neighbors, mm -hmm. your pets, your your friends and neighbors' pets, everybody. Make sure that everybody looks out for everybody. Um, you don't want to hear of anybody uh, losing anybody or anything because of the heat. It's right. uh, not a good thing. So worst case, go walk at Walmart if you have to. Yeah, I said that. They're going to hate me. But <laughs> I know a lot of people that do that just to cool off for yeah, a minute. It's always so cold in there. Take a drive in your car with the air conditioning if you don't have it at your house. Me so. and Madeline are guilty of doing that yeah. as an activity. Yeah. I know people that don't have air at their house that told me they put their kids in the car and drive them around to like, so they'll fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And then take them back in inside. So, yeah, there you go. There's a little, little hint for you. All right. Well, best of luck to you, Miss Jenna. Thank you. Yes, and we will be back here on Monday. So thank you for watching, and have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you back then. Bye. Bye, everyone.